previously on Garage Avenger. I need to go to my quiet place. God damn it. That's it. I'm doing it. I'm sanding it. I've got all this shitty work on here anyway. Let's do it. I'm redoing the whole thing. We're gonna epoxy it so everything's nice and smooth. We've got no dimples, no shit, nothing. And hopefully it's gonna look good after that. I realized what I did wrong and that is the fact that the paint, the under layer of paint was not dry before I put the second coat on. Then I moved it upstairs, which was hotter, which made it contract. And then, hey presto, the paint just looked ratchet. So I'm gonna sand the whole thing. I'm gonna put epoxy on. And then after that, I'm gonna remask re and repaint. So let's do that. Ah, oh, come on. Sanding the paint off, clogged all my sandpaper up. So I used acetone here just to strip back the paint. And it was back to sand. Satisfied, now it was time to re epoxy. Sand and a quick look over just to make sure it was all good. I masked the shield up again, but once again I used this blue tape which was crap. Make sure you go buy the proper tape next time. You idiot Justin. Right, we're good to go for the first one. Let's spray this bitch. The center star was looking awesome. Now it's time to mask it up so we can paint the red. All right guys, here's the moment of truth. Have I done a shit job? The short answer was yes. So you can see that bit of tape mark on there. Hopefully I can wash that off. Fingers crossed, otherwise I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Um, but from a distance, you can't really see it. I mean, I'm hoping that, yeah, we can see it a lot actually. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, let's see how we go with the next bit. Yes, that looks both. Oh, how mad does that look? Right, the reflector, I've cut my uh, circle out. Uh, this is just a piece of uh, plexiglass. You can use wood. I decided to use plexiglass because I didn't have anything else this thin. I now wanted it reasonably thin so it's not chunky mononky on the wall. So, uh, plastic. We had tacos the other day and we heated up the uh, tortillas in some foil. So, scrunch it all up. Spread it all out and you've got a rubbish 
piece of crap reflector. But I hope it's going to work. I think it will. It'll be sweet. Look how good it looks already. Woohoo! Yeah. I glued on the foil with a bit of spray glue. And trim the excess off with a knife. Worried I wasn't going to get enough reflectiveness from the reflector, I applied this aluminium tape to the back side of the shield, but this was probably an overkill. Now for the LEDs. I cut these into strips, then soldered them together, and then I wired in this dimmer. And dim this bitch. Cool. Aziz, light! Very good, Aziz. Much better. Much better. <laughs> so good. Look at it. It's awesome. Ah, uh, I got a little bit of work to do to work out how to do this. But how good is this look, man? I'm stoked. Look at that. So tough. What am I going to do about this tape mark stuff? I really don't like it. Why did you have to ruin my paint? In the end, I just used a bit of car polish and it turned out great. Now for the mounting brackets. I made these again out of plexiglass. I made this mold out of some beautiful Australian hardwood jarra and lined it with baking paper because we were going to melt some plastic. The idea was that the plastic was going to melt over the mold and be in the shape I wanted it to be. Whilst that was cooking, I went and checked all my emails from all my Garage Avenger fans. I probably should have paid attention to the oven. Justin? Yeah? What you cooking in the oven? Um... What is that? Are we supposed to eat that? How's it going in there? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> that is oh, oh, That is failure, that's what that is. Mmm, burnt plastic. The oven was just way too hot. Round two, I clamped the plastic onto the mold and used a heat gun just to individually bend each one. Tap the thread on the back side of the bracket. This was going to be used so I could easily just screw the back reflector on and I didn't have to fiddle around with my nuts. Now for just the finishing touches. How good does that look? Alright, now I've just got to go hang it up in my son's room and watch him go insane! Are you going to take it down? Yeah! Yeah! Hey guys, just before you go, I just want to say thank you for watching this far, like 10 minutes in. You guys are bullardy legends. Um, and I also wanted to say, um, these projects, they take a lot. 
uh, and I'm always like stuffing up and always making mistakes and I think the reason why I'm successful is I just never give up and here you guys are watching this video so I just want to say thank you for watching never give up making shit <laughs>